Hello guys, it's Jared here again, and um, I like to talk about this uh, Italian uh, comedy duo uh, that I've recently discovered, and you know, I've been watching their films on Amazon Prime, and I want to know if you guys uh, know about them as well. And they're called uh, Bud Spencer, uh, well, it's Terence Hill and Bud Spencer, and um, I first heard about them because of um, another YouTube channel called Hats Off Entertainment. Um, I did a video before giving that channel a shout out, and um, yeah, that channel, the guy who runs the channel is called Joe Ramoni, and um, he did a video um, about uh, Terence Hill and Bud Spencer, and uh, yeah, that was the video that intrigued me to check out their work, so I'll put a link to his video in the description. Um, I think that's probably the best uh, video to you know, get information about them from, but I, I still want to talk about them as well. But, uh, so, yeah, you might be one, because, yeah, they were a comedy duo, they were Italian. You might think from their names they don't sound very Italian, but um, that's because uh, they weren't their real names. They used um, Italian-sounding uh, stage names, uh, no, not Italian. So they used American-sounding stage names because um, their movies were sort of parodies of American action films. Um, and uh, Bud Spencer, he uh, passed away in 2016, but um, Terence Hill is still alive to this day, which is cool. And uh, basically, um, but uh, Terence Hill and Bud Spencer, they were kind of like. Laurel and Hardy, but if Laurel and Hardy films had more action in them, although it was still very slapsticky action in their films, but you know they were still kind of action comedies, and yeah, they were a lot of fun. They were very funny films, uh, and uh, yeah, um, and they're pretty much kind of unknown in like the English speaking world, but apparently like they're very famous in you know foreign uh, speaking countries. Because uh, uh, I should mention as well, yeah, I said I've been watching their films on Amazon Prime, but um, yeah, I've watched the films that they did together. But I've also watched they found I found they have some of of, of their um, solo films that they did separately, and you know the films they did set separately a similar uh, sort of action uh, comedies, you know. And yeah, apparently they're, they're obviously very famous in other um, countries because uh, if you look up on YouTube, uh, this is why I do, if you look up on YouTube Terence Hill and Bud Spencer and then you put, um, you change the um, sort by to view count, um, not only are there multiple videos that have well over a million views that have to do with them but the most viewed video um, on YouTube that's related to them has 38 million views um, which is amazing because they're pretty much unknown in the English speaking world so yeah, so, yeah that's why I want to ask any of you guys do you guys um, know who these two guys are and um, especially I want to know um, from one of my subscribers called Frenzy or Frenzy Poo. Um, he, uh, me and him are both big uh, comedy buffs and we kind of n both know about kind of obscure movies. And uh, I was talking with him before because we're both fans of the uh, French uh, comedian Jacques Tati and you know his Monsieur Hulot character. So um, I know that, yeah, Frenzy uh, likes this. So. I wonder if, you know, you're a fan of other, um, you know, foreign comedies, because, you know, these are French. If you're a fan of other foreign comedies, like, you know, Bud Spencer and Terence Hill, who are Italian. Alright, so now I'll just show you uh, some of their films that I've watched um, on uh, Amazon Prime. So, this is a movie called Banana Joe. So, this is a movie starring uh, Bud Spencer. It's not got Terence Hill in it, but um, it's another one with... Uh, Bud Spencer, one of his solo films. That that's uh, Bud Spencer there. So if I go across, show you some others. So Double Trouble. This is one with uh, Bud Spencer and Terence Hill, where uh, they meet their um, like these two millionaires who just happen to look exactly like them, 
And I just find it hilarious that there just happens to be two other people who just happen to look exactly like them because, I mean, I think they both, you know, if you look at them, they both have pretty uh, distinctive faces, so it's, what are the odds that there happen to be two people who look just like them? But, you know, it's a lot of fun. Um, if we go here. Um, so this is one called Watch Out When Mad. This is one of the films they did together. This one's got um, Donald Pleasance in it, uh, which is pretty interesting. I'll see if it shows him in the preview. There he is, yeah. Um, so it's pretty interesting that he's in it. Um, he's playing a German in this, which is interesting. Um, and then this one, Crime Busters. Uh, this one has um, an actor in it called David Huddleston. Uh, which is interesting that they have, you know, English-speaking actors in some of these films. Yeah. Don't think I'll show him, but... I've turned the sound off so it's not, like, entirely copyrighted, and, you know, so I can talk over it. too much of this. Uh, I'll go into next. Uh, this is uh, Super Snooper. So this is one with uh, uh, Terence Hill, but it's not got Bud Spencer in it. So yeah, that's Terence Hill. And in this one, he's with uh, the actor Ernest Borgnine, you know, who's an American actor. <coughs> so yeah, that's like what I was saying with like how, you know, the other one they had Donald Pleasance and the other one had David Huddleston. This one has, you know, that guy, Ernest Borgnine in it. So, uh, yeah, there's some of the other films that I've got on my uh, watch list, if you want to see. So yeah, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this, and please check out the Hats Off Entertainment video in the description, and yeah, bye.